So one thing I've observed as well, it? yeah, just growing up and being a human fucking being, yeah, you have to show people you mean business, innit? So like, there's a lot of people in this, I can't even say some, there's a lot of people in this world, unless you show them that you're serious and you're not someone to be walked all over, people are going to want to uh, try and bully you and take the piss out of you, innit? Yeah? Like me, if I know someone is a weaker character than me, I'm not going to even try bullying bully them. Me, I don't test people or nothing like that. And I know there's certain people, I know I could bully them up or whatever. Innit? A man don't, I'm just not like that, innit? Yeah. Now, if I've got a problem with you, yeah, whether you're a stronger or weaker character than me, it's on. Yeah? I don't give a fuck whether you're a stronger or weaker character than me. If I've got a problem with you, it's fucking on. Innit? But there's some people, if they feel like you're a weaker character than them, they will try a thing on you, innit? And you know what? You have to show people you mean business, innit? So anyway, boom, when I was in school, I was like in year eight. And um, there was one you I'd seen him from year seven or whatever, innit? And like he was one of them youths, you know, like in school, you have like a, a older cousin or whatever, innit? So certain man, when they have an older cousin, they think, and especially if their older cousin is a somebody in a year above or two years above, innit? they think that they're, they're like untouchable or whatever, innit? So there was one... Uh, I well, make sure you shoot anyone, anyway, one big you in man's year, innit? Yeah. So he used to think uh, that like he, he was a like, somebody or whatever, innit? Yeah. Because he was generally a loud person as well, innit? Yeah. And to be fair, man wasn't on smoke. Man was on nothing when I was younger in school. And it's only later during my school years that man was on smoke. But when I was younger, like seven, year seven, year eight, year nine, nah, man wasn't on smoke. Innit? I was a little sweet boy. Innit? So anyway, he used to try like bully man up not bully man up like take man's money or whatever because some there were some youths in man's yeah you should take man's crisp and i'll get to that in a second but this you used to try like shut up and you know like try to push man around not on some mad thing but anyway and one day man just lost my temper and grabbed him up and that innit? and from then me and him actually became friends a man thought he could push me around and i kind of showed him that man meant business and that and me and him became friends like i just said some youths, when I was like in year eight and that, they used to take man's crisp, because I used to sell crisp and drinks in school, innit? They used to take man's crisp, and man used to be in the playground and that, doing what I'm doing, and man used to have one eye on them, you know, because I knew at any moment, yeah, like, I'm just wanting like a weekly thing, but this could happen at any time, and I knew that them man, they might just get off their bench, innit? There was one particular bench, them man they used to hold up, and that, that was their spot, and you know, like in school, everyone had their designated spot, and that. There was a couple man. Uh, I didn't know them like that. It was on a different side of the year to man, innit? So they used to hold up that bench over there, innit? And there was about five of them. You know, like the bad kids, the rebel youths. You know them youths that don't even go to school with a book bag and that. Them man, they turn up to school in trainers. They, what's a pair of shoes, man? Them man don't even turn up to school with a pen. Them rebel youths, innit? Them man, they're in set five for everything, knowing that set one is the top set for the smart people and set five is for the dumb people. The man there in set five, innit? So anyway, boom. Yeah, kickers, you're done now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kickers, yeah. So anyway, boom. Uh, yeah, I used to be in the playground doing what I'm doing, making up, mo making money. And man used to just have one eye on them. I'm looking at him, but I'm looking at them as well. Yeah, man's cross. Yeah. So boom. The man they used to just get off the bench, you know, and just approach, man, innit? Yeah, just surround, man. Innit? Next thing you know, my hoodie's going over my head, and that man, a black man, that man, are taking Chris back. Like, I'm on my own, no one's gonna defend me because no one really wanna get involved with them man there, innit? Yeah, and it's easier to, to not back beef. Yeah. So anyway, uh yeah, I used to be on my own or whatever, innit? That ha happened a couple of times, and then one day I was like, no, nah, I'm not having it. They try and move to me again. Black man <laughs> put man's hood over my head and that, uh, and I'm holding my bag and that, uh, and I ain't letting this thing go, and it's like, no, nah, you're not getting. Don't get it twisted. Man didn't swing no punches. I don't want that man there to, you get me, take it to the next level. But man had to, you get me, just put up some resistance against them. Man wrote about this in the book, innit? Boom. Uh, they made off with a couple one-two packets of crisp in it. But then after that, then man they started chatting to man. It's like, raw. I showed them that man weren't such a punk blood. So kind of gained them man their respect. Now I'm rolling with them man there, you know. So imagine, like, I can't really call them man they're my bullies or nothing like that, but it's almost like, rah, man showed them and now man ain't even getting touched by them. Now man's one of them man there. To the point where the teachers thought I was their ringleader. Nah, I wasn't their ringleader or nothing like that. 
man studio yeah yeah that man there is, yeah a different level to buy the car again man went on nothing i was a sweet boy back then man started rolling with them man. but beforehand them man they was trying to get me chief man up whatever and then man's one of them or whatever it? so sometimes you have to show man you mean business and that's how you earn people's respect um yeah i mean people should just automatically you should always um show people respect the moment they cross that line and disrespect you then yeah it's on obviously yeah um i mean it, it weren't worth being one of them because this is how a man even ended up getting into a gang but again obviously i didn't need to really go down that route but at the same time it is what it is isn't it uh I showed them that I mean business or whatever, innit? Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, five v one, innit? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it won't be worth being one of them. But yeah, 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 yeah. So um, yeah, you gotta show people you mean business, innit? On the other hand, on the flip side, it's like some people, if you're not it. <sighs> I find if you're playful with people, which I'm not, if you're playful with people, they'll take your kindness for weakness. It's like you can't fucking win, blood. Like, so you, you could be proper serious with people and that, and people think you're anti. People think, oh, he's no fun to be around. People are scared of you. But then if you're too playful with people, people fucking take the piss, blood. But me, I'd always rather pick being the other side. Like me, I'm serious and that. Like, man playful and that and make joke and that on on uh, on youtube and that and obviously man no there's a time and a place to have a joke and that but most of the time man serious especially when i leave my yard i'm serious out there in, on the road and outside of my yard or whatever in it but yeah i find that if you're if you're serious and that a lot of people are scared and if you're too playful and that people will take the fucking piss People will try and take your kindness for weakness and that. God forbid someone was just generally a kind and playful person. People would have wouldn't take that for um, weakness or whatever. But like in jail, yeah, in jail, people are constantly watching you and sizing you up. And any weak body language and that, man are going to try a ting on you. Man are going to try a ting on you. Like when I was in jail, there was three youths on my wing in ISIS, yeah, H wing called R Kid. There was one from Hackney. There was one from Brixton and there was one from Clapham Junction. Yeah? There was one youth from Brixton called Arkid. He kept on knocking on my door. Like, that, sorry, not knocking on my door. Like, obviously, I'm in my cell, in it, Yeah, and there's flaps in it. And this youth kept on coming to the flap. Like, he just looked in my cell and then he closed the door or whatever, and he closed the flap. And then he came the next day, opened up the flap, and then he shut it. So I'm like, what? Go on, like. You must have worked out by now that this is my soul. We're looking in my soul, and that's what I'm thinking. Boom. Came my third time, or I think after the second time, I can't remember in it. Yeah, anyway, he's looked in my flap or whatever. I'm like, nah. I approached them in it, like as soon as we had like free flow or whatever, and I said, bro, why you keep looking in my soul for in it? He's oh no, 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 just uh just just looking for someone in it. Nah, man's trying to intimidate man in it. In jail, you gotta be too sharp. Man saw that as man's gonna try because next thing you know. If you don't check a man on that, you don't stick it on a man like, bro, why are you looking at man's soul for? And the next thing you know, man's going to come in there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me borrow this toothpaste and that. And like some man, again, they'll take your kind to weakness. If you let a man borrow your toothpaste and that, for example, man will see that as, ah, oh, you failed my test. Right, now I'm going to try to tax you or whatever. Then you're going to put yourself in a position where you need to fight. Okay. So, yeah, man will take your kindness to weakness and that. Some people might just be cool in it. Some people might just think, oh, I ain't, I mean, I've got a lot of toothpaste and that, and this guy's asking for toothpaste. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm cool. I don't even know you, but you know what? We're all brothers on this thing. We all got to live together, innit? Yeah. If you ain't got, I'll give you. Some man don't see it like that. Some man see it as, oh, you failed my test. Right. Now I'm going to come and try and work my way in and catch you in. The next thing you know, man's borrowing your CDs. Next thing you know, my man's taking your PlayStation and saying that he got taken by the gods and mad. Joe, Joe's a different fucking place, man. All right, what did my say? So, we used to have jokes on uh, anti war me. No one could tell me I can't go anywhere. I'll sit on that bench and say nothing. <laughs> Don't know, call on Xavier. Rebel man, them, yeah. So, yeah, man, you gotta show people you mean business with your gal as well. Yeah. 
your girl's trying to think, but you better break up with that girl. Yeah, she getting mouthy and that. You better break up with that girl. Yeah, show her that boy. I ain't putting up with your bullshit. Remember, there was one girl. I went to her yard, and I don't smoke. I've never smoked. Um, obviously, took a puff on a cigarette, took a puff on the zoo, but that was it. Never smoked like that in my life, innit? Went to this girl's yard, and the first time I went to her house, she smoked by the window and was she old. She she opened up the window. So she lived above a shop um, on Green Lanes in Harringay, yeah, North London. She lived above a shop. So she bust the window up, yeah, lifted up the window, and she's smoking a cigarette and blowing it out the window, isn't it? Cool. Because I'm not expecting her to go downstairs, isn't it? Yeah, she's a smoker, isn't it? So she's going to be doing this once every 30 minutes. Boom, smoking out the window, isn't it? That's cool. The next time I went to her, yeah, she, again, she got comfortable around, man. And Man didn't even know about our oh, women testing, man. Man's just going off at impulse, isn't it? The girl starts smoking in the flat. Yeah, so we're in the living room, the same place where she was smoking by the window last time. But this time, the window's down and she's sitting on the sofa smoking in front of man. So, hold on a minute. You know man don't smoke, innit? Yeah? I'm like, yo, man, put the cigarette or bust the window open and smoke out, innit? She's like, no. This is my living room, and I'm going to smoke here if I want to smoke, innit? Yeah, I said, put the cigarette out, innit, or I'm going in it. She's like, no. Man, because I was lying on her sofa, then man's got up, put on my jacket, and gone. Boom, walked out of the flat, man. Innit? I'm pissing in one alleyway around the corner from her yard, innit? Yeah. I see the girl come running out, huh, 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 whatever, innit? I said, what? And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, innit? And boom, took her upstairs, and you get me, the rest is history, you know? So, yeah. Man, you have to show up if you mean busy. I ain't having no girl smoke around me. Even this contract man's on. I go to the tenants' houses. They will smoke in front of me, innit? I'm not rude about it. I say to him, listen, I don't smoke. Do you mind not smoking around me, innit? And I say, yeah, cool. Don't get twisted. Man's had pushback from tenants before for this smoking thing, innit? I don't business, bro. I know someone's going to kick off. And one guy fucking kicked off as well. When I, when I, um... Asked him to not smoke in front of me. And he went fucking mad. Yeah, this this guy. I never forget that day where that tenant went fucking mad, man. Um, but yeah. So yeah, there's the cert certain um. Yeah, you gotta show people you, you you mean business and that man. People will take the fucking piss. Yeah, people will take the fucking piss. You can't be afraid of confrontation. Yeah, confrontation isn't comfortable. But you know what? Life ain't comfortable. Isn't it? Yeah, and you know what? I'd rather be uncomfortable uh, kicking off a confrontation. I, I'd rather have to deal with the uncomfort of this situation than be uncomfortable within myself because I'm scared to say something. Nah, I'd rather piss someone off and get into it than say nothing. Innit? That's just me. Innit? I don't care. But if I can lose this fight, that's what's going to have to happen. Not even though I disrespect man's presence. Innit? So, yeah. Blood, <laughs> man. Obviously, those are David don't know nothing, did it? But I'm, I'm not even gassed. Since I've been up here, I've had to mash up six people, fam. No, a word of a lie. If Nadia was in the chat, she would back me on this. Yeah. Six people, four in one going. Yeah, trust me, man. Not trying to claim man Superman in it. Like they didn't even defend themselves, but they kicked it off and man finished them in it. Yeah. To the point where the Jakes had to come in it, yeah. That's all man saying, in it, yeah. Six people since I've been in this fucking area. Blood, that never even used to happen in Edmund. You see in Northampton, yeah, everyone thinks they're a fucking tough guy, bro. Because in this area, there's no one to test anyone, really. But like down in Edmonton and the ends and that, there are men who are serious. So man them who are not really like that can get away with walking around and whatever really up here in it but they can't do that down there in it because it might really kick off whatever it is. but literally <laughs> six people found fans not even a fucking joke fam six people blood since i've been up here in it i've only been up here like a year and a half call it in it six people fam. not even one was in the fucking town center whilst i was at the fucking atm blood 
man try to approach me chatting shit to me whilst at the ATM. Anyway, man, I leave that for next a next a next video, fam. Six people, blood. Yeah, six people, fam. Xavier's a joker, man. I said lovely, you know, the sarcasm, rah. The sarcasm. Yeah, literally six people. Yeah, six people, fam. And out of those six people, like there was one time where there was some youths driving past my house to try to reverse their car. I try to pull up on man. Oh my days, blood. So like did, so when I say I had to mash up six people, yeah, forget about them in it. Yeah, this was a separate occasion. I'm outside my yard, yeah. Let's say like on a on a Tuesday, I, I come out my front door and I see some uh black BMW driving past my house, or whatever in it. And like the youth looks kind of mixed race in it. And this guy's like proper looking or whatever, in it. but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, so anyway. Afterwards, I thought, oh, maybe that's that Moroccan youth that lives around the corner that wanted to buy a car off me because I was selling cars before, innit? Or attempted to sell cars. And that didn't go too well, innit? So I thought it was the Moroccan youth because you know the Moroccan people, are, are kind of, some of the man them look kind of mixed race and he has one big, massive afro, in it. So I thought it was him, but he had his head tied back. So I thought it was him. The car just went past quickly, but I saw this person proper looking like, almost as if they knew who man was or whatever, innit? Cool. So anyway, about a week later or three days later or something in it, yeah, I'm driving up to my yard from down the road. There's a little roundabout. I'm driving up to my house uh, to park up outside my house, isn't it? So anyway, I cross paths with this BMW. I'm on the left. They're on the right going down. I'm going up the hill, isn't it? And anyway, the, the same guys are in the car or whatever, isn't it? And they're looking, looking. But I just realised, oh, it's not my man, in it? Carried on driving, isn't it? So boom, the road kind of snakes around like a bend. So I can't see where the road bends, but I can see the bottom of the of the uh, um, of the road where the roundabout is, isn't it? And I've seen them stop at the roundabout, but the reason why some people stop at the roundabout is because if a bus comes down that road, they have to give way. Um, they can get away with uh, like a meeting situation with a car and squeeze through. So a car can come this way, a car can come that way. But if it's a bus, a bus is too wide. You have to give the bus weight. So anyway, I see the car stop because I'm looking in my rear view because I thought that was booky the way they were watching. Isn't it? So boom, I see them stop and then reverse and then they disappeared. And I said, right, they're coming back. So anyway, boom. Lo and behold, five seconds later, they come up the road now, innit? it? So I'm sitting in my car because I know they're coming back to whatever in it yeah so i ain't gonna pretend i didn't see them anyway they're driving past now isn't it yeah so i'm looking at them and they've drove past me and there's a car in the road uh that's that's blocking them in their lane so they would have to stop anyway because again they come to another meeting situation so anyway they didn't stop because they was in a meeting situation Although there was another car there, they stopped and they put on their reverse lights in it yeah, to try and pull up on man. Blood, I got out of my fucking car in it, yeah. I walked in the middle of the road in it. I said, Blood, you're not pull, don't, don't even pull up on man like that in it, yeah. The guy was like, Oh, are you, uh, where are you from? Are you from around there? I said, Blood, I'm from Edmonton in it, yeah. Don't test me in it, cause man will think that man's one of these punks around there. No, 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 no. They're not even from Northampton, they said they're from Luton and that. Innit? So they might even not know, they might not even know where Edmonton is. When you see that blood, I'm from Edmonton. That means don't fucking test me. I'm not one of these punk punks from around here, innit? Why have I had a man try to pull up, pull up on man outside my yard? Are you going mad? No, no, no. But what happens is certain men will come from other areas like Luton and Birmingham and they, they think and they know that Northampton men are dickheads or whatever, innit? So they'll come around and try and bully up people, innit? Man, the wrong man. Trust me, bro. Wrong man, fam. But yeah, bro. <laughs> this this area is not a good area for me. I need to go back to Edmonton where I'll keep myself out of trouble, man. Shit. Shit, man.